This video will contain artistic representations of female nudity. If you are underage or you do not wish to view such things, please close this video now. Thank you. Hello everybody, it's Marialda here once again and welcome back to an Amiyami box. Yes, we have a figure in here. Woohoo! I'm still working from home so the setup is still kind of crappy but we do have a box. It's a fairly decent sized box because it's got a fairly decent sized figure. As a hint, we have Jin Lian and we have Chun Mei out for comparisons. I wonder who it could be. Hmm. Yes. So, as I said in the intro, this video, it's of Dai Yu. It is going to contain nudity because it is the DX version. I am going to attempt to put the full version on YouTube. So, again, if you don't want to see boobs, don't want to see crotches, or you're too young, close this video. That's why it's age-restricted. I'm still going to try to keep the adult bits in like one section just in case I do have to edit them out later, but we're going to risk it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this box open. Up, oh, don't want to tip it down too far again. Had to use DHL because Corona Chan is still a thing. She's still got the post office shut down, the Japan Post International Shipping. So yeah, and it sucks because... Dayu is a big, biggish figure, so the box is biggish, so it was expensive to ship her. Okay, so we've got the Amiami thank you card. You got Amiko in a nice little sundress. And looks like she's about to go on a picnic. She's got what looks to be oranges and some cider. And on the back, you got this little little Amiko with a terror terror bozu. Put that off to the side. And then we also got the additional thank you card for, you know, thank you for buying during Corona Chan. And we're going to get stuff out as we can. So, yeah, got the thank you cards. Now let's get the figure. So I'm going to put this off to the side again. And there is an accessory. And wow. I think you need to see this. There's not much spare room in this box. She's like right to the sides. There we go. So that little crease right there, that's for me taking her out of the package. Package. That's not how she came. Just to let you know. Okay. So there is Dai Yu. This is Dai Yu, the DX version of her, because you gotta have the DX version. There is a STD version, standard version. And as far as I can tell, the only difference between the two is the... Uh, STD version does not have the bare boob piece. So, got to have that. Um, yeah. Other than that, I don't know if the standard version has the removable panties or not. But DX version definitely does. Um, so, Dai Yu is an original character based off the Jinping Mei whatever story from ancient times. Thus, we have Jin Yuan and we have Chun Mei. I do not own Ping Mei or Hi, Ping Hai. I don't know if I'll ever get her or not. She's kind of hard to find and doesn't strike my fancy as much as these ones. But anyways, uh, Chun Mei is a 1-6 scale figure manufactured by SkyTube. Uh, the STD version I heard has, instead of SkyTube, it says Alpha Max. They're the same company, just different branches pretty much. Uh, Dai Yu was released on June 15th of 2020. I ordered her originally just the figure uh, on August 22nd of 2019. But then AmiAmi emailed me and said, hey, we've got an extra bonus item. Do you want it? So on the tw 24th of August, I ordered the bonus item. Uh, this is a slim wall scroll. Uh, let's see. 
So for all this combined, I paid a lot of money, 19,580 yen, which after conversions, you know, it sucks recently. I paid $190.28, paid on the 18th of June. Uh, she shipped out on the 19th via DHL because Corona Chan. DHL was expensive, $72.98, which is like $32 more than EMS. But EMS is shut down right now. And she just got delivered today on the 22nd. Uh, factored into that price is the wall scroll. And the difference between the two versions was 1380 yen, or like $13 for the wall scroll. So yay, let's do the accessory first. Pull it on out, and there we go. Okay, so I'm going to have to move the camera back. And there we go. So it's not, not giant or anything, but it's not overly small. It's a nice size. Nice image of Dayu without her fans or Eru, and she's got her mini skirt on. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side now that we've seen it. And there is Dayu in her box. So do a spin around. There's the side. I would love to be able to get this all in one frame without holding the camera, but I can't push it back any farther because of my work stuff being back there. There is the back with one of the original illustrations of her. She is a Tony Taka girl. There's the other side. Back to the front. Put the camera down. There is the top of her box. She definitely has a butterfly theme. And plain boring purple bottom. So yay. Let's go ahead and get this box open and get this pretty lady out of here. So typical three seals. Come on. Let's see how much more I can bend this box up. <laughs> okay, got her out. And there's some more accessory type things inside the box, so we'll pull those out. Um, inside of the box, you got, it's pink, got lots of little butterflies and a crazy looking pattern. And that's about it. Quite a smell on this too. Put that off to the side. And we'll stand her up in the background. And so the first thing we'll look at is she has instructions. So her head comes off, her body comes apart. Arms come off, little armbands, lots of little things. Uh, looks like the underwear has a little hook where the back meets one of the straps. Let's go over to the side. Yeah, nothing too crazy looking, but we'll keep these handy. Um, we also have a postcard. This time she is in her little dancer outfit, so the mini skirt and the fans. And the, of course, Tony Taka girl. Come on, focus. And then we also have another postcard, which is her in her musician form. Auto focus. So she's got her long skirt on and she's got her eru, eru I think. Don't ask me how to, what it's actually called or how to say it. It is what it is. A little bit more of a sad, solemn expression on her face. So that's the two postcards that came with her for her two different display options. So there is Dayu in her blister packaging. So you got the main figure, you got her base, you got the mini skirt, you got two fans, you got a bonus face, you got two arms, you got her instrument, and you got a little stand for it. And you got her boobs. Yes, the alternate piece. So spin around to the side and the back. And just initial impressions, she seems quite large. So 
I mean, no lo larger than the other ones, but 1.6 are bigger than you would expect, in my opinion. So, yeah, let's uh, get her free. So we've got the standard tape on the sides of the blister. Quite noisy as well. There we go. Put that off to the side. And we shall start with the boring, but not so boring, base. So we've got some metal pegs. It's a nice jade green color. And it's got a butterfly and a bunch of different flowers and everything. It's got that uh, decoration around the edge. Don't know exactly what it's called, but it's definitely kind of the Chinese theme. So, yeah, there's three different metal pegs here. And bottom is just plain white. That, I believe, is probably a magnet. It is smaller than Jin Lian's and definitely smaller than Chun Mei, so that's good. She'll take up a little bit less space. Uh, let's see. Next, we'll go ahead and pull out, we'll, we'll pull her out and set her to the side so we can get to the other stuff. Okay. This big piece of plastic holding everything down. So here is her bonus face. Well, not really bonus, but extra face. So it's kind of a happier girl, you know, big open mouth smile, her eyebrows are going up, nice uh, blue eyes, and pretty detailed ears. Does look a little bit strange, you know, not being on the figure, but it is what it is. I will go ahead and put the face back in the baggie for now. We've got her arms. These are the ones to hold the fan. So, nice uh, detail on them. Got the little pad, uh, pad printed butterflies. There's like three of them. Nice little translucent plastic around the wrist. Nice detailed fingers. Uh, index finger and thumb are separate. And then the rest are kind of separated at the fingertips. Looks pretty nice. And there's the bent arm again with a bunch of different butterfly patterns. Uh, pink fingernails. And her rest of her fingers are kind of curled up into a little ball. Um, over here. I guess we'll pull this out now. We have her instrument, if I can get it out. So it's kind of like a two-string guitar, kind of, sort of. But it's played with a bow, and the bow is actually strung between the two strings. So it doesn't, like, come apart. So, yay. There is a peg there, I guess, that probably stabs into one of her hands. You got the little tuning knobs and a little tip. Uh, the strings are like a uh, clear fishing line. And then you got like the body of it. Oh, that's a good detail. So this is like a mesh and it's hollow inside. You can actually see into it. Don't know how well it'll show up on camera. So nice little detail. It's definitely not necessary, but SkyTube, she's expensive, so they went the extra mile. And there's the bottom of the thing, the side. The bow is pretty detailed. So over here you got it like tied together, and over here you've got more different metal piece or pieces of the bow. I don't know exactly what everything's called. Sorry if it's not focusing, but whatever. So that's nice and detailed. Uh, and then there is another plastic piece holding down more stuff. 
So this looks like a little filler thing for one of the pegs going into her heel. And then we've got this. When I saw the preview pictures, I was trying to figure out what this was. I think this is a stand for the instrument when she's being like a dancer girl. And it is magnetic, so it definitely suctioned on there real quick and easy. So I think that's that. Fold these things back over. And we'll look at the other accessories. So again, you got sheets, a sheet of plastic holding everything into the blister. We've got her two fans. I'll just pull one out for now. So nice and detailed. It's definitely unfolded. You can see it's kind of a thick fan. And nice, nice uh, detailing in the pink like fabric around the edge. And both fans are identical. So yay. Put those off to the side. And next we'll pull out her mini skirt. I've been thinking about how I want to display her and I, I really like the long skirt so I'm not going to really use this. But we'll see what she looks like with it on. It is translucent black plastic. Nice ruffles around the edge. Put that off to the side. And then we've got one more piece. And it's in a separate blister. And I guess they did that so that they didn't have to make extra molds for, blis for the blister for the different versions. We will look at this piece later. It is the extra chest piece. But I want to get it open first. As I said, I'm going to try to keep the adult parts together just in case I have to edit them out later on the YouTube version. So there's that. We'll put this off to the side now. And since we've got through almost all the accessories, we get to dye you herself. She's got quite a bit of weight to her. Um, so I know her head comes off. So we can get some plastic off of her. We're pretty sure her chest comes off. So we can get more plastic off of her. And then the arms come off. I'm just going to completely disassemble her so we can get all the plastic off. Oh, and the little armbands come off as well. Lots of little pieces. This is probably going to be a fairly long video. Okay. And then her body comes out of her dress. And then her skirt comes out. And then the plastic comes off. And then there's more plastic under her undies. So, since that's going to be a pain to get... Nope, it just came out. That's Never mind. Came unhooked. There we go. So we'll... I was going to do the uh, adult part first, so maybe I still will do that. But anyways, we'll start with the main pieces. So there is her head. She comes with kind of her sad, sullen expression. Nice, nice detail on the mouth. I was originally planning on doing the happy girl face, but the more I see pictures, I might go with this one. I'm not sure yet. Uh, the hair, quite quite detailed very good shading on it it's gray it's got darker grays and lighter grays she has twin braids coming down from her buns buns again have the nice uh thematic butterfly flower theme uh, the tips of her hair curl up and they are quite a bit darker than the rest of the hair and the top seam line is pretty well hidden at least for now until we take her hair apart uh, we're going to be careful with this. I'm actually using the 
face to loosen this up because there's a bunch of extra strands that would very easily break off. So there is her fringe. Kind of got the air intake hairstyle going on, but not very giant intakes. There is the face again without the hair in the way. And it just comes right off. Very easy. So we'll go and set that down. Um, here is the default chest that she comes with. So it is clothed. Got lots of nice butterflies. It's a very, very lovely blue color. Uh, you got some translucent plastic uh, lacing fringes on it as well. You got a nice little collar. And yeah, must be maybe a little bit cold or she's turned on because pointy. And it is very tight. It is stretching between her breasts. You got a nice cutout in the shape of a heart for her chest. So very beautiful. Very, very nice. And her boobs, if we look on from the side, they are quite large by normal human standards. But in the anime figure standard, they're not overly giant. So that's nice. That's good. Put that back here. Um, then we've got the like lower part of her dress and the skirt. Again, very tight fitting. You got lots of stretch marks and wrinkles. You got the bunch of different butterflies. And they're more detailed on the dress than any, anywhere else I've seen so far. Again, the very beautiful blue color. Very well done pad printing for the butterflies. And got a little bow. And the front is longer than the back. So she definitely will be showing some booty. Uh, we've got the little arm cuffs, got a little gold like medallion or brooch or whatever on them. And they're black trans translucent plastic, nice little rough, roughly details. Um, her normal, well, maybe not normal, but instrument playing hands. Again, pretty similar, just uh, slightly different hand poses. Excuse me. There's that one, and here's this one. So this one, yes, it does have a peg hole for the instrument to stab into. And you can tell she's, like, strumming it, so the fingers are in a what would normally be considered a strange position. But they are very well done. Uh, pink fingernails, and they're all separate. Sometimes, like, the tips will be still kind of joined together, but they've definitely sanded it down and filed it down. So that's good. And then we have her legs. Man, does she have some legs. She's got a nice belly button. She is wearing some underwear with a nice uh, side tie. They're At first glance, they're black. And I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not. But if you look closely, it's kind of like a very deep purple. She's got quite the nice booty. Right there is where the... Uh, strap comes undone, and you can take them off, which we will do shortly. Uh, very well detailed backs of the knees. I mean, look at that. You want to lick them, don't you? Nice uh, booty shot. And wearing some very cute little shoes. Uh, they got little, like, rope butterflies, like a knot tied in the shape of a butterfly. Nice uh, black and everything, black heels, and the same blue color as her dress. So that's very nice. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, just to make it easy on myself, I'm going to cycle the video, and then we will do like the adult version of her first, and then we will get to the normal one. So I'll be right back. Told you I'd be right back. So... While we're at it, let's go ahead and pull out the bonus chest piece. Well, not really bonus, but extra chest piece. And, oh yeah, she got nice, nice ones. Very nice boobs. Again, like I said, they're, by normal human standards, they are quite large. Very, like, handful, maybe more than a handful. <laughs> but by anime figure standards, they're like almost normal sized uh 
if we bring this up to compare, instead of having the collar, she wears a little choker. But yeah, nice uh, detail around the clavicle and where the tendons join it and everything. Very well defined back. You got the shoulder blade sticking out and you got the spine line. And yeah, just overall very, very nice, a very nice extra chest. And this is why she is DX. <laughs> okay, so now we will do the underwear. So again, spin around to the side and it just unhooks and then it slides down. And you want to be kind of careful because it is kind of a tight fit. You, okay, so I spun it a little bit and it came down a lot easier. So there is her underwear. You got nice detail in the butt crack area. And not an obvious camel toe. Put that off to the side. And there is her bottoms without the underwear. So from the front, she looks like a Barbie. But if we tilt down, we see she is not a Barbie. So spin around to the back. And she is definitely sculpted down there. She does not have uh, gaping holes like the other two. So there is no insertion. But yep, quite, quite a nice uh, vulva. And she does have her anus there as well. So, very nice looking. Um, so to assemble her, you do have to have one of the skirts. Because there will be a gap. So, like... Right now, it looks like it's covering everything. Maybe you don't. Let's try putting the boobs on. That's a tight fit. So yeah, you'll either have a gap there, or if you move the skirt up, you'll have a gap there. So you don't technically need the skirt, but we'll put the mini skirt on her just because we have it. So the boobs come off, the skirt dress comes off, and then we'll put the mini skirt on. And the transparent part of the uh, the mini skirt, you do see her belly button showing through, so very nice uh, area for it to be. Then we'll go ahead and put the dress on, and then we'll put the chest on. So typically, when she is, you know, got her boobs out, she is going to be the dancer version of her. So we'll put the normal the instrument arms to the side. And we'll put on the dancing fan arms. Oops. So again, you kind of got to figure out which one's which. Wonder if these okay. So they have different keyholes. So. Only one goes on one arm. So this one kind of is like a triangle trapezoid thing. So that goes on this arm. Carefully. I see her, I've already crudded up her back. And then the trapezoid type arm goes over here. One, get on there. This actually would probably be easier to put on separated from her body. There we go. Then kind of like the L shape goes on this arm. And then we'll go ahead and put her chest back on her body. Um, we'll put on the happy girl face, put the bangs back on, it seals up pretty good to hide the seam, we'll put the closed boobs over there and that over there, we'll go ahead and put her head on now, and now we got to figure out this uh, 
little support piece for her ankle. So it looks like it probably goes like that, maybe? No, not really. Hmm. You know, this is probably a point where the instructions would probably be helpful. So let's see. Hmm, it doesn't really show very well where it goes. Okay. So it does in that picture, but it's kind of hard to see. But it looks like it goes over this piece here. Or maybe this piece. This is confusing. Does it go there or does it go there? So it definitely goes on this foot. Yeah. So now, I think it's gotta be that. So this is a slight issue. It's like the pegs are too far apart. Let's try not using that yet. Just put her on the base without it. So yeah, her heel like goes off to the side of the little peg. So that tells me that it's got to go like this. Okay, that this is confusing. Uh, I'm going to pause the video again and figure this out. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm figured it out. I figured it out. It's helpful when you can actually look at what you're doing. So I was putting it on the completely wrong set of pegs. So the peg and the little peg actually go into this foot which actually does have a little peg hole for the heel. The support piece goes over the butterfly and it's sculpted in a way so that it like supports over the you know texture of the butterfly it just hangs over and then it slides right there and fits pretty easily. So now that I've got it figured out it should be a lot easier to get her together. Yeah. That was a lot easier. So again, the plastic support goes over the butterfly. It does not go over the two pegs. The two pegs, one, the little tiny one goes in her heel and the big one goes into the ball of her foot. So anyways, there is Dayu in her naked form. Let's go ahead and get the fans into her hand. So, I think it just kind of slides in there, and she just pinches it. And then the same thing for the other hand. Kind of just slides in, and she's pinching it, and, you know, doing whatever she wants with it. You, they're not tight or anything. You can move them around. So, we'll just have it like that. Uh... 
yeah, I think she's kind of supposed to be covering her face like that a bit. And then since we have the instrument now, we can put this off to this on it. So there should be a magnet around here somewhere. Again, it's one of those things where you kind of know where it goes, but you don't. I think it goes around here. I think. Could be completely wrong. Going to look at it again. Probably should have figured this out while I was paused the first time. There it goes. So again, there's a little magnet and it just goes over the butterfly, the tip of its wing and everything and sits right in there. And then this magnets onto it. It's kind of bad because at this angle you can see the, uh, the peg that goes into her hand. But yeah, anyways. There she is in her, like, dancer form. At least what they always show you as the dancer form. So she's got her uh, fans. She's got her boobs out. She's got her underwear off. She's wearing the mini skirt. Quite, quite a nice figure and quite large as well. Very well detailed. She was very expensive, but there are a lot of other figures that are more expensive than her. So let's uh, get some close-ups. So there's the face and the boobs and everything. Going down her body. Very long, luscious legs. Again, from the front, it's hard to tell, and she does kind of look like a Barbie, but she is definitely not. So maybe we can get you a little bit better view if I hold this of where the things attach. So that tip of the uh, butterfly wing goes in one of those little slots on the bottom. And once you get it, it just sits right in there, nice and flat. And again, the little plastic support piece goes over the butterfly and fits onto the wing like that. This is where the small peg and the large metal peg are. So there's that. From the back, though, we can definitely see she is showing off herself. If you want, you can have her underwear on and keep her modest. And there's the front. So turn the autofocus back on. And put the camera back down. And again, we'll do a spin around without everything in the way. I'm going to take the fans off even. Yeah, she, she looks very beautiful. And she's got the perfect, you know, perfect body shape and everything. She's designed to be beautiful. So yay, looks very, very good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disassemble her and put the, you know, adult pieces off to the side. And then we'll get back into the main version of the video just in case I do have to edit this out. So yeah, we'll take her head off. And we'll take her chest off. We'll take the skirt off and the skirt. We'll leave her attached to the base. Actually, no, I'll take this off because in case I do have to edit it, I want to show where everything goes. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and put her underwear back on. And again, you don't have to display her completely like this. Like you could display her uh, playing her instrument and being naked. You don't have to have her be, just be the dancer and naked. You can have her be the dancer and be clothed.
Okay, so got the underwear up. We're going to put the strap down and the back part goes over it and hooks on. It's kind of a little bit fiddly. But there we go. And it's not a very tight snap or anything, but you can kind of feel it go in. Nice, uh, very, very nice booty. So, and it does cover the naughty bits, but you can see some flesh poking around on the sides. Uh, we'll go ahead and take her arms off. And that's another thing. You can have one fan arm and one instrument arm. So you got you got lots of options with this figure. And we'll put her boobs back into the protective blister for now. So there is that. Okay. Again, I'm going to recycle the video and we'll be back. This is definitely getting to be a long video, but it is what it is. So we did the uh, naked parts now. So let's get her assembled together in her not, like, lutist form. Um, so just in case you didn't see it, this is the base. This is the little plastic support piece for her foot. I spent a long time trying to figure it out, and I was doing it completely wrong. So you see the butterfly and the peg coming out of it? That is where this goes. So the peg goes through the hole, and then the piece is sculpted so that it rests on the butterfly, you know, flatly. It does not go on the two pegs over here, which I was trying to make it do. And then over here, we have the little magnetic piece that her instrument sits on, if you don't have her holding it. Again, on the butterfly, the little tip of the wing is your guide. So... There we go. So you see how it's kind of like it got a step that goes towards the front of the base and it just sits right over it and it magnets on and it should fit flush. So just in case you have difficulty figuring that out like I did. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, we put her underwear back on. So we'll go ahead and get her onto the base. The uh, plastic piece goes on her left leg, which is on our right, and the two pegs go on her right leg because there is a peg hole in the heel. So she goes on quite easily once you get everything lined up properly. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put her together kind of in her dancer form, which we just looked at in the nude part, because she's already set up like that. Um, you do have to kind of have a skirt on her. I mean, you don't technically have to, but there'll be a gap either under her chest or under, like, around her waist. So we'll go ahead and put on the mini skirt, And then you put the, like waist piece of the dress over that and then I found it's actually easier to uh, put the arms on when the chest piece is off so again the little cuffs ha have the same uh, keyed holes as the arms so you can line those up and then the uh, upper forearm top the yeah, upper arms have that same key pattern So it makes lining things up easier if you know what you're looking for. This one is kind of like an L-shaped. So just look, look at the pegs, look at the holes, and you can line them up. And then we'll go ahead and get her chest on. And when you get it on and push tightly, it does like hide the seam very well. I just noticed on the, her back, there is a little gap showing off the back more. That's a nice little touch. And we do have her smiley, happy face on, which is primarily the dancer face. So we'll go ahead and put that on her head. 
And then the fans just kind of go between her uh, forefinger, index finger, and her thumb. And the same over here. And then you kind of just line it up how you want. I think she is kind of supposed to be covering her face a little bit with the fan. But that is up totally up to you how you want to do that. You could even have her, say, put the other arm on and have her holding her instrument. And then, since this isn't really being used, we can kind of... Get the bow propped up. And just set it on. And it magnets onto the little little filler plate down there. And it shouldn't fall over now. It is kind of annoying that the peg that goes into her hand is on the front and sticks out. But it is what it is. So anyways, there is Dayu in her like dancer form. Not lewd. <laughs> well, as not lewd as she will get. Still, you can see her booty poking out because the back is a very short bottom. Very short. So yay. Let's uh, do a little close-up of her spinning. As I said, she's got a nice happy girl face. And originally, I was planning on using this. And I'm kind of planning on having her playing the instrument, but uh, I may have her hold the instrument and have the fan out. Don't know yet. You've got lots of options with her. So we'll spin around. Definitely a very nice booty peeking out under there. And back up to the side. And there we go. Okay. So now, get the phone back in position. We will put her in full-on uh, musician form. So we'll take that off to the side. Again, I am going to take her head off, take her chest off, skirt, and skirt. Now we're going to put the long skirt on, and I definitely am planning on using this one. I just think it looks so much nicer. Uh, it is the translucent black plastic again, and it's got very nice uh, butterfly details, decals on it. Just looks very, very, very good. Very beautiful. And it is definitely tight and stretched over her booty. So, carefully put it around her waist and her booty. And technically, if you have this on... You can see the underwear through it, but you could, if you don't want to see the strappy strap, you could take the underwear off and no one would know unless they pick her up and go like this. <laughs> so again, you've got options. I probably won't do that, but it is an option. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the waist part of the skirt back on. And now we're going to exchange her arms. So the little cuffs... You only got one set of those, so leave them on her torso piece and then put the arms on. Again, you line up the pegs with the holes. And I'm sorry this is going to be just such a long video, but she's got lots of pieces. <laughs> so now we'll go ahead and put this back on her body. And put her actually we have to change her head so i found it's easier if you pull her chin a bit to loosen the fringe up because there are those extra like loose pieces on of the fringe we'll put on her more solemn face which is usually her musician face and then put her head on her body we don't need the extra filler piece for the instrument and we'll try to get this put together so there is whoop dropped it on her hand there is a peg hole between her thumb and her forefinger so this may be a bit 
difficult to do. Especially when you can't see what you're doing. So it's probably something that's easier to do when it's the arm is not attached. And you just you want to be gentle with it because you, you don't want to snap that pig off. Okay, it's good enough. And then the bowstring. I believe she holds the other end of it. And then that goes between her thumb and forefinger there. And then you can have the uh, strings go under her fingers. Come on. Again, it helps if you can see what you're doing. But I'm not going to fill with it too much right now because she still needs to come apart and everything. But put that back in. There is Dayu in kind of her musician form. So again, the more solemn face, and she's holding the instrument, playing it. So nice little details and everything. Little spin around. And then we'll do a close-up. And I was planning on, you know, changing her up again, but this video is getting to be so long, I probably, I may not do that. So, looks quite nice. I am definitely going to use the long skirt. I'll see if I want to use the happy girl face or not. I'll probably have her holding the instrument and a fan. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, I love the backs of her knees. <laughs> Just quite a very, very nice and beautiful figure. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to change her up. If you like her, you can buy her and figure out how you want to display her on your own. But what we're going to do now just put her back and put, bring her down. Move the camera. And then I've had these two figures sitting beside her all this time with no, no screen time. So yeah, there's my musician girls. Again, there is uh, Ping Hai, which I don't have. I don't know if I'm ever going to have. But we got Jin, we got Dai, and we got Chun. Jin Lian, Dai Yu, Chun Mei. Obviously, same set. Go together very nicely. Dai Yu definitely has the smallest base of them. So that is very good. Yeah. Anyways. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it can stay up on YouTube. I am sorry it took so long, but there's lots of fiddling to do with her. But she is definitely worth it. I love her. I am out. See you next time. Bye-bye.